it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing my current beauty favorites. Um, I have a little bit of makeup and I have a little bit of kind of hair and skincare. I just have like all beauty stuff. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I am currently loving, the stuff that I am using on a daily basis, and I will link everything down below for you guys. So if there's anything that you want to try out, everything will be linked down below. So be sure to check out the description box and don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Click that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I upload. And of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you guys get to see extra stuff that you don't get to see on here. You get to see um, just like more family stuff and kind of like things that I'm loving at the moment or new things I'm getting in PR. So be sure to follow me, it's just at Sam Sherman. Be sure to go and follow me on Instagram. Let's go ahead and get started. This is Posey. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you won't have seen how cute she is. But I showed you guys yesterday on Instagram that we got a new baby to the family. This is Posey. She's a little toy poodle. Oh, you don't want to see the camera? Do you want to say hello to everybody? And she's so cute and so sweet and she's so good. She has actually already been sleeping through the night completely. Fiona didn't sleep through the night until she was eight months old. It was a lot of sleepless nights with Fiona for sure. She's already sleeping all the way through the night. So she woke me up at 5.30. We went to bed at 9.30 last night. And then she woke me up at 5.30 to go potty. And she's just so good. She's a very sleepy little thing. Aren't you babies? So it's funny because this is exactly how Moo was. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, Moo is my toy poodle that we had and she passed away last year and um, she just passed away of old age. She had a very good life, but it's funny because this little baby reminds me so much of Moo's personality. Like she's so similar to her when she was this age. And um, yeah, so the, the two of them have been having such a nice time. She wants to go on the bed with her. Here you go, babies. Oh, I hope she doesn't have to go pee. She might have to. I'm going to take her out real quick. You want to go potty outside? Yes, she had to go potty and she just did. They have very different personalities, but they've been doing really well. They've been sleeping together. They've been playing a ton. Um, basically, Posey just follows Fiona around everywhere she goes. So right now they are currently just playing on the bed. Also, um, I'm in the middle of doing laundry, so my cover is in the wash, so I know people are going to say, is this a new comforter? I've had this forever. Um, I normally just have a cover, like a duvet cover on it, and it's in the wash at the moment, so if you're wondering what this is, it's actually quite nice. It brightens it up in here, but it doesn't really match all the different colored or the different flowers in here, so I do need to like put the cover back on. They're so sweet. They do like this little silent play where none of them make a noise. You just hear... Anyway, they're gonna play. That's our new addition to the family. She is just the sweetest. I love her so much. She is just, she came with the name Nanette and we've literally like changed her name so many times, you guys. So she came as Nanette and the kids didn't wanna keep that name. So then we, um, what do we call her? So then we called her, I forgot what was the first name that we called her. And then we went with Bianca. And then my dad was like, Bianca? That means white. And I was like, oh, if dad says that, that means everyone's gonna say that. So then we went with Phoebe, but it just didn't feel right. Um, and like, we had all these different name ideas and we couldn't decide. And then, um, I don't know what I was doing, but I was just like, oh, Posey, because I always wanted to name, we had so many different flower names for Lily. And of course we ended up with Lily, but I really liked Posey. And so I always wanted to like name something Posey. So now we have a Posey and I just love it. It's so cute. Those two are just gonna play. We're gonna go ahead and get onto my favorites, but I did wanna just share with you guys my new baby. She's just so cute. I love her so much. The kids are ecstatic. They're just like obsessed with her. Phoenix is like trying to take her into his closet. He has like a little clubhouse in his closet where he does all of his like schoolwork for his meetings and stuff. So it's quiet. Not that his bedroom isn't quiet, but it's like we put little string lights in there and stuff. So he like goes in there and he like does his little meeting and holds her and she falls asleep. Like they're just so excited. So um, yeah, she's very loved and Fiona loves her and Fiona is so happy to have a friend because Fiona is a social butterfly. And we just felt like with Moo, I never felt really like she needed another friend. She always was more of just a me dog. Like she was very much 
she didn't really need other animals to like keep her busy because she was such a chill dog that she she was just a lap dog that's just what she was um whereas fiona is so sociable and like she loves other dogs if we're going for a walk she just like goes crazy trying to get to them and she just really you could tell that she needs more than just us so we've been thinking about getting um a new dog fiona's really happy because now she has a friend to like get some of her energy i mean she plays with the kids all the time but i think it's different than playing with just another dog so now they can i mean they're literally playing this whole time like and she loves it it's just like <laughs> her dreams come true so she's very happy about that i'm just letting my hair dry naturally today so please you know pretend there's no clip there but um i can't blow dry my hair it makes it so like like fly away first thing i want to talk about is my favorite eyeshadow palette and this is what i've been using every single every single time i wear makeup this is the red aspen fulfilled palette and it's basically just the best palette ever it's so neutral it's amazing so i use the color embrace exhale and purpose and i mix those three together and those are what i use in my crease i always use bliss right here in the corner so that's what i have in my inner corner to make it like nice and bright and i also use that as a highlight a lot as well um and then i use home in this little outer bit just to kind of give me a little bit of a soft kind of wing so i love it it's got some really great colors in general i mean it's not just um the ones that i showed you but those are the ones that i use every time i do my makeup this is another eyeshadow palette and i use mainly just one of the shades um this color right here moon dust it's from beauty counter and it's just this really chunky sparkly color and i use that as my highlight sometimes sometimes and then i also use it on my lids so i have it on my lids today and then i also have it as my highlight and it's very sparkly but it kind of melts into the skin to where it looks like you just have like sparkly skin so it's just really pretty and it gives a really beautiful like sparkly highlight and it looks gorgeous on the lids so i absolutely love i just got it all over my dress i absolutely love that and then as my bronzer, I, it's also from Beauty Counter. I absolutely love this. This is, I've talked about it numerous times. It's the Beauty Counter Radiant All Over Bronzer in Dune. And it's just a really nice, warm, matte bronzer. And it just gives you such a good kind of natural sun-kissed color without being too ashy or too orange. It's just a really good, like, it just gives you a bit of color to where it looks like you've been outside. I've been loving this Alamar Cosmetics. I started using the e.l.f. one, which I loved. It was such a beautiful color, and I'll link it down below. But I noticed that when I was using it, I was getting little white bumps all where I was applying it, and I'm still in the process of getting rid of them. So if you are someone who is sensitive or acne prone, I would not recommend that e.l.f. one. And that sometimes happens to be the case with me when it comes to more affordable products, when it comes to powders, foundations, and blushes or bronzers, is that it gives me little white bumps where it's just kind of clogging my pores so while the color is amazing um the formula was not good for my skin i'm just making sure no one's trying to have a pp -pee. don't want a pp -pee on my bed this one is amazing it's the alamar cosmetics and i use the color seclusion and isla so those two right there and they're just like oh it's trying to focus on my face they're just like these really pretty peachy colors so that one's obviously a lot lighter but that one's more of a coral and this is in the color um, medium tan but I love it and it doesn't break me out or create little bumps so I feel like that's pretty much the best for foundation this is pretty much what I wear most of the time I hardly ever wear full coverage foundation anymore just because um, I'm not going anywhere and I really like the way that this looks and I love the fact that it literally takes me like five to ten minutes to do my makeup versus almost 45 to 50 minutes to do my makeup I just can't be bothered with it anymore I've done it for so many years that I just kind of have gotten to the point where I'm like I just Unless it's like something like I really want to look full glam for or I'm filming a video that I feel like I need to look amazing for. I just don't want to have to do it. So I just do this. I apply it with my fingers. It's super easy. It's the Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream. It's SPF 30, so I have my sunscreen right there. It's all free moisturizing natural looking coverage matte meets glowy finish and it's for all skin types even sensitive so this stuff is amazing because if you are someone who is um uh what was i going to say do, 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 acne prone it's awesome i feel like my skin is better when i use it 
And what's awesome is that there have been a few days, I'm not gonna lie, where I have fallen asleep. We have been watching The Last Kingdom, you guys. Oh my goodness. My boyfriend is just so delicious. Uhtred is just my new boyfriend. I love him. But anyway, we've been watching this show and there's been so many nights where we've binged it and stayed up until like 2 or 3 or 4 in the morning. I know it's ridiculous because then I wake up at 6 with my kids. Um, but... I fall asleep on the couch and then you know how it is when you fall asleep on the couch and then you just like you you just don't want to wake up and do your makeup or remove your makeup so I have just like crawled into bed and was like I'm too tired and then you wake up in the morning and you have your makeup on and my skin never has a problem like it's it's almost like you're wearing I mean it is an actual um let me just read it so that you guys know what I'm talking about. A multitasking beauty bomb that is a foundation, antioxidant, moisturizer, and SPF 30 in one. Featuring our exclusive Agent Herb Extracts Complex, Goji and Hawthorne Berry brighten skin while Jasmine improves skin texture and retains moisture to create a gorgeous and glowing complexion. It's supposed to help reduce the fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots, dullness, and other signs of aging aging, prevents UVA and UVB damage, hydrates the skin, soften and even skin tone, improves skin complexion. So I feel like it's a treatment. So while you're putting your foundation on and your sunscreen, it's actually helping your skin. And I do feel like whenever or since I've been using this, my skin has gotten so much better. And also I hardly ever break out anymore unless it's like close to my period or something like that. But I really do feel like it's definitely improved my skin. My skin's really soft. It's it's just really pretty so I love this and I just find that like the days that I wear full coverage I'm like oh I just wish I was wearing this and I literally it takes me like two not even two minutes like a minute to put or 30 seconds oh so, yeah I just love it I feel like it's just made my skin so much better and um, it gives you a nice amount of coverage like it covers everything that I need to cover without feeling heavy or cakey it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles though it just looks so beautiful and so natural on the skin to where I feel like as you get older full coverage foundation foundations I mean they still you can still make them look good but they don't sit as well as when you're younger and so I feel like the older I get the less makeup I want on my skin just because it looks it looks younger when you have less so I feel like my skin looks so much more young and youthful and like less lined when I wear this so I've been wearing that pretty much every single time I do my makeup unless I'm trying to look extra bomb then I do my full coverage and it's not like it doesn't sit well it's just as the day goes on this looks amazing and other foundations they still look nice but they don't look as youthful as this so I, lo I absolutely love that one all of this stuff i'm showing you guys here other than one thing and i'll have to look that up because i'm not sure about that um is cruelty free um so this is the tarte smooth operator amazonian clay finishing powder <laughs> they're still playing and i love this this is really great for setting underneath your eyes around your mouth, anywhere that you have fine lines and wrinkles or texture, anything that looks a little bit bumpy, you know, or, you know, divoted, it just fills it in and makes everything look nice and smooth and kind of <clears throat> airbrushed and like face tuned. So I absolutely love that. And then it helps just keep the oil at bay and it looks great. I will say if you are oily, you will have to blot throughout the day. I mean, but I have to do that anyway because we live in a humid climate and I'm super oily. So everything that I wear, I have to blot that I do have to blot a little bit more um, than usual but it's it never breaks down or gets like discombobulated I like I always use like to use that word it doesn't go all mangled you know so it just looks oily and but that's it nothing else looks weird um, and then as far as highlighters there have been another there has been this one so I use the red aspen one the beauty counter one and then my moon play cosmetics I just love this one I always end up going back to this one it just looks so dewy and in the skin and just so smooth and it doesn't look like it's on top of the skin or it's heavy or cakey or enhancing pores all of these do not enhance the pores and I don't like that I just hate when you have highlight and it just looks like bumpy and like your pores just look terrible and I see it all the time on people especially younger people I find they do it a lot at like younger other youtubers and I just want to like yell through the camera like that doesn't look good I can see every single little pore and bump you have and like you don't even have bad skin but it's making you look like you have bad skin 
So I really like to have highlighters that don't do that because I don't know about you, but I don't want my pores to look bigger. I mean, the older you get, the bigger they get anyway. So I don't want to have any kind of texture or pores or anything looking worse than they already are. So I try to stick with ones that are very, very just smoothing and like in with the skin and they're not going to enhance any texture or pores or any kind of just not perfectness not perfectness that you have on your skin. We are gonna move on to lips. So these lip liners, you guys, I have been obsessed with. I'm sure this video is gonna be so loud. I've just <laughs> of them. They're still playing. I think I've mentioned this numerous times, but I've had the worst time because I have lip lines because I whistle all the time. So my lip liners and lip glosses and lipsticks have started to bleed into the rest of my face. So they won't stay on my lips. It'll just start transferring down onto my chin up here and it's just the most annoying thing ever because it looks like you just are a mess like you've just been like smooching some fellow at a bar you know and i don't want to look like that so these are the red aspen ones and they are really affordable i feel like they're 16 dollars, which i think for the quality and for how much you get and just for like how awesome they are 16 dollars is not bad um and i specifically love these three colors so i have the berry bouquet the Chocolate Cosmos and the Blushing Dahlia. So Dahlia, Blushing Dahlia is what I have on today as my base. And it's just this really pretty kind of peachy pink. And then today I have Chocolate Cosmos around the edges and the corners, which is more of kind of like a nudie brown. And then a lot of the time I'll use Berry Bouquet as well, which is a little bit more of like a pinky kind of berry mauve. Um, but I love all three of them today. Like I said, I'm wearing Chocolate Cosmos just around the edges. And then I'm wearing Blushing Dahlia on the rest of the lip. But they don't bleed into your lip lines. So if you are someone who is a little bit, um, you know, my age or older, then you're not gonna have that problem where it's gonna be bleeding into your lip lines and going off of your lips. I just hate that. It's just such an annoying thing and I don't know why it happens to me other than I have lip lines, but it's irritating, you know? It looks like everything's just melting off of your face. So these are the only ones that I have found that don't do that, which is nice. And then I have a couple of lip balms. You guys know I bought like 8 million lip balms. What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you doing? And so I've been testing them all out. I'm still loving the awake one and the reason I like the awake one is because it has a little bit of that color So it's kind of got like a soft kind of peachy tone to it So it really does kind of give you a really beautiful color to your lips and I like it for the daytime But then at nighttime, I've been using this milk makeup one now. This is a really beautiful um, texture. The texture is almost exact to the Laneige, but it's not the same color because this one is clear so there's no color to it whatsoever, but it is the same texture. It's so hydrating and so beautiful um, on the lips. It does such a good job of, hi or of hydrating and moisturizing, um, and it smells like lavender. So it's really nice for the nighttime. Um, I like the way it feels, and I like how it has that soothing, whoop, don't fall off. You guys are getting a little wild here. Let's calm down. Um, and then this one, smells slightly of peaches so I like those I use those the most um, I think they're both lovely and then I have two lip products that I wear the most um, the first one is my IGXO um, this is the IGXO Maxine this is the one that I created with them if you're looking for a really great peachy pink lip product it's like a gloss and a liquid lipstick mixed together oh hi do you need love or do you need to go potty it has been like 20 minutes 30. Do you need to go pee pee's? What's height? Do you need to go potty? I'm gonna go take her potty. Let's go outside. Come on, babies. Okay, she had to go pee and now she's hanging out with everybody else. It is such a beautiful color. I mean, it's just so, I just love it. It's pigmented, it's opaque, it smells amazing like vanilla mint. Um, I wear it all the time and I will continue wearing it until I run out, which I think I have like a couple left. But yeah, they're so amazing and it just creates this really beautiful peachy kind of pinky tone to the lips. So I absolutely love that. Um, and then I top it off with this. This is the Pink Champagne Buxom full-on lip cream you guys this is the best formula of lip gloss as far as like a plumping super duper like shiny gloss it's just so gorgeous and whenever you put it on your lips you have a feel of, of like coldness so it smells really good like 
vanilla cupcake or something. It smells so yummy and it's just like really glossy. So I like the pink champagne because it lightens the um, the IGXO Maxine color just a little bit and adds like a really good shine. And whenever I wear it, my sister always asks me if I've had lip fillers again, <laughs> which I have not. I only had them that one time back in, I think it was October and they're gone now. But um, yeah, every time I do it, she's like, did you get lip fillers? I'm like, no, I didn't. I just put this gloss on. So it obviously works. It always, it always makes your lips look really full and juicy and just like supple. So I love that one. And it's much cheaper and much less painful than lip fillers. Um, and then I have some nail care products. So this is actually pretty much gone now. You can see there's just a tiny little bit at the bottom. I know I say this a lot, but I share so much more on Instagram as it's just easier for me. I don't have to film. I don't have to edit. I don't have to like do all the uploading and all that kind of stuff. I can just quickly pop on be like, oh, I'm, I'm using this and I'm loving it. So if you want those like little quick kind of like makeup tips or, you know, just things I'm loving that's you don't have to wait for a full video. It's just so much quicker that way for me. Um, definitely follow me on my Instagram because I usually share it on my Instagram stories and then I'll just link it for you right there. Or if you message me, I'll give you the link. And then it's just so much quicker and easier for me. And I do it a lot where I share other things that you would have to wait weeks to see on this channel. So this is the Perfect Formula Pink Gel Coat. And it's just this amazing like gel polish, but it's not gel because you don't need a light. So it's like a gel, it's like a gel polish without the light. Um, so it kind of hardens your nails. It makes them look nice and thick and like, just like, like you've been to the actual nail salon, which obviously I have not been to the nail salon um, for, I don't even know how long now. I can't remember the last time I went. It was probably back March beginning of March, I have no clue. Obviously I have nothing on them anymore, it's just my own nails. And as you guys know, if you've had acrylic or gel in the past, your nails are so weak afterwards, they're like little flimsy, like, you know, they break when you just like touch your hair. They're like, oh, there it goes. So I've been using this, and honestly I feel like it's made the transition so much better, because normally I cannot go like a day without having my nails on, because they're so weak, whereas because I've been using this, and I just apply coats throughout the week, and then once a week I take it off, it does get a little bit yellow. I didn't used to do this, and I don't know if it's just because I've had this for such a long time now that maybe the formula is like getting older, I'm not sure. I never used to have that problem until basically just like the last couple of weeks I noticed the more it like goes on in the week, it gets a little bit yellow stained or something. I don't know. So then you just remove it and then redo it. And you just remove it with re like regular polish. It is expensive, or I'm sorry, regular polish remover. Um, it's like 30 bucks on Amazon, which I know it's a lot. And you're like, what the heck is wrong with you? But if you're just gonna be doing your nails at home, which obviously all of us are at the moment, I don't know when nail salons are gonna open again. It's such a great product to keep your nails healthy, strong, looking nice and it's just like gives you a really soft little pink color so it's really pretty and um they do have like a brighter colored one which i'm super excited about because i feel like if i get the brighter pink one which i'm going to do because this is pretty much out now i might even be like more pink and then also i won't have as much yellowing i don't know because that didn't used to happen it's really just this last but this is, it's getting old. Like I literally have like hardly any at the bottom here. So I don't know, but it is amazing. I would say it's worth the $30. I know that's kind of a lot for nail stuff, but it really does work. It's so good. And it just makes your nails look so strong and like, see, it's just pretty. It's just very natural. It's just really nice. And then I've been using this little cuticle oil from KB Shimmer. It just comes in like a little pen and then you just basically take it off and then just brush on the oil and it's so nice because it's just like a little brush tip so you don't have to do droppers. It's just super easy to use so I love that. So this is my self tanner that I've been using and I love it and the reason I love it so much is because I have had the hardest time trying to find a self tanner that doesn't get stuck in all of my pores on my chest and my stomach. So I don't know if everybody has it but like I mean everyone has pores but like I have like I didn't realize I had big pores on my chest until I self tanned and realized, holy crap, there's all this self tanner stuck in my pores. And it looks like little black polka dots all over your chest and like the top of your tummy and it's super annoying. So 
I've been on the search for like a new self tanner that doesn't do that. And so when I got this in PR, I was like, ooh, it's white or clear. So maybe this is gonna be like good. And it's amazing. I don't get any pores, like no dark little speckles anywhere, anywhere. Like I see none. It's amazing, but it gives you such a beautiful natural color. It's not overly dark to where you're like, holy moly, you're really, really dark, like loving tan or cocoa brown. But it does give you a really beautiful color and it just wears off just, you know, like I forget that I even had self tanner on it just it lasts for probably about a week and then it just is gone one day and you're like oh goodbye self tanner it just looks so good so this is the Saint Maurice or Saint Maurice I don't know how you say it advanced pro formula develop and it's the shade control express tanning mousse and it's just clear and I just apply it with their mitt that comes with it um, and it's honestly just so good I love it I've been using it the last probably month and i think it's just such a beautiful self tanner and i highly recommend it especially if you are someone who hates that pore look also it doesn't really smell very bad either so it's just a really nice self tanner and last but not least is the shampoo and conditioner and deep treatment that i have been using so this is the day so this is what it looks like i'm trying to cover my face so it'll focus on this instead there we go um, so it's really beautiful packaging. The smell is amazing. It's like peaches or mango. I featured it in my Sephora haul. So this is the conditioner. The shampoo, which looks like that's a little bit darker color. We have the deep treatment, which is more of a nude. And I've been using all three of these and they are amazing. They smell so, so good. So it's like mango or peaches and cream or something like that. It smells so good. And it's basically been making my hair so silky, so soft so just lovely it detangles so well it's hydrating my my hair just feels so nice and um i feel like it's been like letting my wave really kind of shine through or come through like this is me just naturally drying it there is my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful thank you so much for watching and i will link everything down below for you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video happy wednesday Oh, I have one more to show you. Almost forgot. This right here is delightful. I just got it in my Allure Beauty Box. It's the Proenza Schuler or Scholler. I'm not sure how you say it. Arizona perfume. I just got a little sample. The full size is super expensive. I looked it up and I was like, ooh. Um, this smells so good, you guys. It's like a sweet, fruity amazingness. I don't know what the notes are. But it smells so good and every time I wear it, it's strong, like you do not need very much. Every time I wear it, Jay's like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. He loves it. So, highly recommend that. It's super yummy. I feel like if you're looking for something like a good summer scent, it's sexy, it's sweet, it's got a bit of a spice and then a little bit of fruity. It's like all of the best things all into one. It's so, so good. You're just going to have to look it up. I'll link it down below. That's absolutely amazing. One of the most beautiful scents I've ever smelled. And I have a lot of perfume, as you guys can see. Okay, now I'm finished.